Hi, this is Andrea with Northern Whimsy Art Studio. This is the miniature mosaic birdhouse kit. There are several different colors that you can choose from in the kits. Um, this one is gonna be mostly blues and browns. Um, there's gonna be full square pieces, ceramic pieces, um, some shells and some uh, half pieces here. Each kit will be a little bit different depending on what I have in stock and the colors that, that you choose. Um, so to get started, what I'm gonna do is kinda just get an idea of where I want my pieces. I have these full square pieces and so I think I'll start with them along the edges here. And I'm just gonna go random colors. I'm not gonna be real picky on that. Um, so I'll get started with, with one side of that. So what I'm gonna do is just get some glue on this piece around the edges here. I don't wanna to glue too much at once other because it will dry before I can get to it. So I'm just gonna start with kind of a smaller space. And get these blue pieces on. I'm gonna follow the line. I'm not gonna go straight with the bottom, but I'm gonna follow the line there and I'm gonna make sure that glue is seated, or the piece is seated down into that glue. So there's enough glue that the pieces seat down into it without coming up over top of the glue. Just picking random colors as we go here. Moving up that edge. When you're doing mosaics, you wanna leave some space in between your pieces for the grout to sit down into. So after we get all of our pieces glued on here, we'll come back and do our grouting. But we wanna let it dry for at least 12 hours in between. So best to wait till the next day to do your, do your grouting. So I'm gonna turn this upside down to work here and just do the same on this side also. And actually I'm just gonna glue this whole bottom here. should be able to work fast enough to work that. Oops, that didn't work. Don't, didn't want those two of the same color right there next to each other. So I just moved it up a little bit. So when you're working on these birdhouses, you'll have to do one side and then come back in and do the next side after the glue has gotten tacky and your pieces will stay. So you can lift it up and, and they won't fall off. Okay, so I have those pieces on there. So then I'm going to take some I think I'll do a little embellishment above and below that. So in this cup, there's some embellishments in here. So I'm gonna grab two of these blue pieces. I'm gonna go one above there and one below. And then I'm gonna take some of the pottery pieces and start placing those in. So all your pieces are cut, so you just will, just like a puzzle piece, work your way around and try to find where they will fit the best. And I try to give a good variety of shapes and sizes when I'm cutting these. And if you have embellishments, things at home that you wanna add into these kits, um, there's so many options and ideas out there. Um, buttons can work, old earrings, jewelry, necklaces. 
Things to keep in mind when you're finding pieces, though, is that your uh, when you go to grout, you need to keep your um, or the pieces are going to get wet. Sorry, so they you, you want to make sure that they can uh, withstand having water on them. So they need to be a little bit waterproof. And the other thing is, is that they're going the grout will go into all the cracks and crevices. So. You wanna make sure that they're easy enough to clean out. When we get to the back side of this little birdhouse, you'll see that, um, you'll see that the embellishment piece I have, this one here, it's going to get grout inside this. So what I'm gonna do is just take a toothbrush and just gently clean it. And then when we get to the grout portion of that, and I'll show you when we go to grout, but just keep in mind when you're finding your pieces to add in here, that you understand that they're gonna have grout getting into it. So you wanna make sure that it is something that you can brush. So fabrics will not work. Okay, and so before I get too high on this, I want to do some embellishments around that little entryway there, so. change that one here. For this demo, I'm moving a little bit quicker. I would take a little more time to place pieces, but just just for the sake of video time, I'm moving a little a little faster than I normally would here but you can take your time and place all your pieces exactly how you'd like them. And So what I'm gonna do is take some of these shell pieces and go around that little window just to make it stand out a little bit. And I'm making sure there's enough glue under these pieces that they stay well. Because when you go to grout, it's frustrating if your pieces fall off. So if they're a little bit un unlevel, make sure you just get a little bit extra glue. I put a little bit too much there, so I'm going to spread that. Pull it around here a little bit. making my pieces stick. You wanna try and keep as much glue off of your top of your pieces as you can, but you can wipe some of it off when you get to your grouting phase. So a little bit is not gonna hurt anything. Trying to keep my fingers clean so my pieces aren't sticking to my fingers as I move my way around here. Getting a little close with that guy. Some of these pieces that are not real flat on one side, you want to pick the flatter side to set to set down so they have a good amount of surface area to adhere to. Okay, I have that. So then I'm going to come back in with my ceramic pieces and fill that space in. Remember all the spaces around there that are not filled in will be filled in with a grout. So. Find some longer pieces.
too big. And making sure your pieces are set down into the glue well is gonna help you when you get to that grouting phase. So remember just to seat them down in there. Finding the littler pieces that I can set down into there is gonna be helpful. Okay. We'll soften that one up some and extend it in there. All right, so it's looking pretty good. So I have all my pieces in there. So now what I'm gonna do is let this side dry for a little while. Um, but what I can do is do my trim around the top on this side too. So I'll take my weld bond. And so this glue that I'm using is weld bond. This is not regular craft glue. This is for mosaics and other glass metal objects. And I'm going to come in with my half pieces here. Start up at the top. Work my way down. And I'm just going to go with random, random colors here. I'm not going to go with a real set pattern. I got too much glue on that one side of that one, so I'm going to set it down. There should be enough, and I'll wipe that one off if I need it. Making sure it's seated down into the glue well. And try to get grab the outside of them, and then really be able to seat them down into that glue. Turn it so I can work on this side. Leaving a little space in between each one. That one I didn't feel like I had enough glue under it, so I just slid a little bit more over. Get a little more glue there. Fingers are getting a little bit sticky, so I'm going to wipe them off some. And one more there. Okay, so then I'm going to turn it and do this bottom also. glue to set it, seat it in there. And work my way around. That one's a little thicker, so I'm actually going to set him off to the side. I'm not sure I want to use him there. I'm cutting these all by hand, so they're not going to be perfect, but I will do my best to make them as uniform, uniform as possible. Get the 
fingers getting sticky. And tweezers can help in this project too if you have tweezers at home. It's a great way to help pick up some of these tiny pieces. Scoot these guys just a little so that I can get one more piece in there. All right, so there's the front side. So what I'm gonna do is let this dry for at least an hour or so or it can be less, but then I'll come back in. Um, you'll just want to feel that when you flip it, uh, your pieces aren't going to slide or move. So um, let it get tacky and then you can, you can move to the next side. So when I get to the back, I'll show you here, I'm going to, I would like to take my embellishment on the back. You could do your embellishment on the front if you wanted, but I'm going to choose to do it right here on the back. Um, and I'll take pictures of this as well, but you have the idea of how to glue your pieces on. Um, oops. That's why you want to wait until they dry some before you flip it. But um, you have the idea of how to glue your pieces on and get that finished. After you have the entire thing covered, you're going to wait 12 hours. And then I'll come back um, with a grouting video and show you how to do your grouting on this piece. Um, every, your kit will include everything you need to do your grouting as well. Okay, thank you.